excited because my book today is about two of my favorite things, cakes and llamas. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Okay, so this is probably one of my new favorite books. My husband and I read it last night for the first time, and we laughed throughout the whole book. This is called Llama Destroys the World, and it's by one of my new favorite authors, too, Jonathan Stutzman. Check him out on Twitter. He really has some cool and some funny things to say. Okay, I always have to take the book cover off or it falls off on me while I read. But underneath, it's pretty cute anyway. Okay, here we go. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Llama could ever eat. Dat, said Llama. I think he wants that cake. Llama ate all of the cake. This was the first mistake. Burp. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Dun, dun, dun. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing. The so llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. Doesn't surprise me. He was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. Salama so huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jigged. He tangled. He cha cha real smooth. His rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise, but the pants never stood a chance. Rip. The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Rip. That does not sound good. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. That, said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a llama of science. He knew the answers were out there waiting to be discovered. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed the data and came to a well thought out conclusion. <gasps> that, said Llama. Well, instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. I mean, is there any other way to do it? This was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Lama didn't notice. Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near, and he had no idea. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. It all started from eating that piece of cake. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama! The black hole swallowed 
everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. Until there was nothing. I am Mama. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Llama. I am Llama! Proclaimed Llama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm, like nothing had even ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pies. More pies than any Llama should ever eat. That, said Llama. What do you think is going to happen next? Might be fun to make a prediction. So I hope you enjoyed this, the book. Oh, I forgot to show you the favorite part too. Look at, look how cute that back cover is. I love this book. So if you get a chance, check out Jonathan Stutzman on Twitter. He always has some fun things to say and check out his other books that he's also written. Until next time, have a great day, everybody, and keep reading.